Today is a sponsored Timu haul. They reached out to me and they said, would you like to do a, a sponsored haul? And I said, I would love to. So they gave me some money and I got to order an order all to myself. Now, here is my code. Now the rules are mostly for people who have never done Oh, I just took a picture. I didn't mean to. Most of the rules are for people who um, have never shopped before. So I'm going to tell you these rules again so we'll get them straight. If you're a brand new user, you can download the Timu app, which is like the best, biggest catalog you've ever looked at. Just page after page strumming along of stuff that you never knew you needed that they have. So you download the app, and if you're a first time user, downloading this link that I'm gonna put down below in the descriptions, then you could get a $100 coupon bundle with the link. Don't put the link in though until, the code in until you're ready to order. They say that. All right, so here is my personal code, and I will put it in the links below. And when you go to checkout, if you use my code, and it's only for new app users, then you get an extra 30% off. So that's the rules. Now, I'm gonna tell you something. If you have never tried Timu, and you're leery of it, and people have told you, oh, don't get mixed up with them, because I had a lady tell me that, don't get mixed up with them. I have never had one problem and I've been shopping for over a year and spent thousands of dollars. I haven't added up, but I'm sure I have. Anyway, so don't be afraid, just try it. Go by your measurements when they, on the clothing and try it. And it is a rule like at any store, the more you spend, the better quality you're gonna get. So, you know, you gotta realize that too. And they have, now that our Dollar Trees have gone up to $1.25, they have stuff on here that's still a dollar and free shipping. You just have to wait like two weeks. I can wait. All right, so I got um, 12 items for $30 they gave me. And what I did was try to get things that I will use and what I've always wanted. And I went under these, the category was craft haul. So these things all have to do with crafting. All right, what did I get? Let's go see. All right, I'm gonna be doing some painting. And when you do cabinets or drawers, I'm gonna do my, uh, my door and my cabinet in the kitchen. And I wanted, they say that these little rollers are the best to use for that. So that's what I got. And for $3.49, you get um, 10 of these and they're four inch. And I can, you know, the drawers, take the handles off first, do the drawers and all of the door around the window and everything. So this is gonna come in very handy when I get to that. So I was thinking ahead. And this, I need these so bad. These are stickers that go onto your, for, um, what's it called, your breaker box. And we have a problem in our living room and that if you plug in all the heaters, all the lights, all the TV, all the everything, it, you know, the breaker goes out. And so I go out there and somebody with very bad handwriting wrote on there, so I'm going to go out there and replace some and put these. They You can have as many as four bedrooms, but then they have numbers 1 to 15. Master bedroom. Oh, good. The master bedroom and then bed 1, 2, 3, 4. Den, alarm, basement, sunroom. Oh, they even have a sunroom. Study, porch, sprinklers, furnace. They have everything. Outside. Family room, family room, guest room, guest room, entry, shed, yard. Anyway, 
it's going to be a fun little sticker project for me. It only was 79 cents. Less than the Dollar Tree, and you could have it too. Now this um, a diamond art. My sister Carolyn had one of these, and she said, you have got to get one because it is so good for old people that can't see. And I'm going to be working on diamond arts forever because I love them. And I have that many to work on them forever. All right, look at what this is. It only can do one at a time, but watch. Sitting here when you're doing them. And here's a hit, tip. If you don't, if the electricity goes out and you can't find your flashlight, just grab your diamond art pen and it will help you. How much did it cost? It was a dollar forty-two. Now I don't know if it changes the battery if it burns out. I don't know anything about it because I never used it yet. But for a dollar forty-two, that's probably cheaper than, than the battery. Let's go buy a new one. Okay, next. Um, well, I won't look at that next. I'll look in the sack next. I got, Jamie always wants shoe goo to repair shoes. And the last time he was here, I mean, the grandkids came here because they needed a shoe repaired. His shoe glue was dried up. Now there's proper ways to use shoe glue. My dad, he knew how. He fixed our shoes because, you know, he didn't have, he worked in a dairy. He pasteurized and homogenized milk, made cheese and butter. So that wasn't a great paying job and we had six kids. So he repaired our shoes and, and if they came unglued, he would get out his shoe goo glue and in the beginning, he didn't have that. It was different kinds, but he would get out his handy duty glue, glue the shoe, and then lift the table leg and put on top of the shoe so that it will have pressure on it when it dries. That is your clue. You can't just glue it and then walk away and think it's going to be good. You got to put pressure, clamps, or a table leg. He always used the table leg. And then we could wear our shoes longer. Save money for other stuff like food nowadays, right? Okay, what is this? And the shoe goo is $1.37. And if you buy shoe goo brand, I know it's going to be at least $5. So I don't know if it's going to work as good. We'll try it. Oh, this, I've always wanted one of these. It is a... A dimmable LED drawing copy pad board for people, not for animals. It says for people. Thanks for telling us. All right. I don't really know how it works because I never had one. And it like it has a sticky on the back. Oh, good, but it has directions. I got this light from Timu, and I quite like it. But it is the blue light and not the, I mean, it's the white, white, not the golden light, whatever. And I don't think you could ever change the batteries and get new light bulbs or anything. Put the pad, light pad on a flat desktop, then connect the power supply. Okay. Hold power button. Can be adjusted. Suitable brightness you want. Now, in their Chinese language, can be is a compound word. It's one word here. Put the artwork on a fixed area. Add copy paper. Fixed, start sketching. Put the artwork on a fixed area. Add copy paper, and then you just trace it. Finish drawing and turn off the power. As far as possible, below... 30 grade, 300 grade copy paper transmission off light will be better. All right. When using the copy machine, gnashing, they, I could help them. The room lights dimmed, the effect will be better. The sketch is finished and turn the power off. Okay. So since I don't know any of these people that speak, they're not coming to my house, that speak all the other languages, I'm just gonna throw that away. I'm only keeping this part. 
Okay, so I think this is going to be fun, fun. It's a light board. So you put your, what you want to trace on down first and then the paper on top that you're going to trace. People are going to think I'm an artist because I have this now. I could start a business and do people's paintings. I'm going to do one for you and then I'll show it to you when I'm done. Okay. All right. This was $6.99. So take care of it. I'm going to put it right over here with my office supplies. You don't just want to throw that somewhere in a chair or something. Okay, next. Oh, I wonder if this is going to work to cut wrapping paper. You put it over the roll of wrapping paper, and it has a little blade here. And then you just go psh, all down the wrapping paper. That is going to be good. I have a wrapping paper, tall, tall box of wrapping paper. They all rolls fit in it. I'm going to put this right with that wrapping paper. And how much did I spend for that? $1.62. That's going to be fun to use. Do I have any birthday presents to wrap? June is the next May, April, May. I do. Chad's birthday, my oldest son. Uh, it's his birthday. Now, I wanted to try the yarn because I've been, I have a crochet project going on. And so I wanted to test out their yarn. Now this says it's polyester rayon nylon. 30% polyester, 20% rayon, and 50% nylon. So this much yarn was $1.49. How much yarn is it? This is not in our language, not in our language. So we don't really know how many ounces. It's bright red, that's the color of it. I'll show you what I'm making. This would be good. This is little yarn, like for booties, baby hats, baby sweaters. So if you're looking for that kind of yarn, this is it for that. Because I'll show you what I'm making. I have my yarn basket because I want to buy the yarn because I made this. I finished it. Isn't it cute? Kleenex box, tissue box. So I want to get some more yarn to make these. For everybody in the whole family is going to get one. Darling, I'm going to start a bazaar. So I need the yarn. All right. Now this only was 99 cents. And you know, we need these in our purses, in our backpacks, in our cars, by our bed, by our couch. So I'm going to show you what it is. Okay. It's so cute. I think it came in different colors, too, that you could get if you don't want pink. Oh, look. It has scissors, tweezers, nail clippers, and a little picker thing. Picker? No, it's not a picker. It's a, it's a push-your-down cuticle thing. All right, here it is. You get all of that for a dollar, well... Actually, 99 cents. I love it. Okay, let's see. Now, of course, you're not going to use these scissors to cut something great. Because you know they're not going to be that good. Oh, they're stuck in here. Good. This comes out so you can remove them good. Okay. You could take them on the airplane because, you know, you can only have a, no bigger than a three-inch three blade. All right, let's try it. All right, it cuts this, P cuts plastic. See if it cuts paper. It surely does. Okay, now they're not your high quality scissors, but you don't want that when you go flying on the plane or in your car or purse. Cause you know, if you left it in your car, your kids could get into it. You don't want sharp scissors then. So these are perfect. And you're somewhere and you need, you're at church, you need scissors, you have them. I have some in my purse. Okay, here's the tweezers. Let's see if you have it. Jamie always is getting splinters in him. I don't have a splinter, but I think, yeah, they'll get dirt out of your fingernails. Okay, and then we have, I like this little kit. It's cute. Everything you need. Put one in your bug out kit. 
if you have a 72 hour pack kit, a 72 hour pack kit is to have a backpack packed with 72 hours of items you would need. Like if there was a flood or a house fire or a earthquake, depending on where you live and you have to run somewhere and get out of there fast. Oh, this was my favorite tool. Look, it has a little cup thing and this. So you could clean your fingernails good, push down your cuticles. That's a good tool to have. Everybody needs that tool in their purse. Okay. And then you have your nail clippers. Please don't make me demonstrate nail clippers. All right, I will, because I do have a fingernail here that needs to be clipped. <coughs> Choked on my spit. I'm not usually a fingernail clipper girl. I like scissors better. Okay, let's try it. Because one time I was cutting my big toenail and I got off course. That hurts. Okay, yeah, they work just like any other fingernail clipper. They do not have this other piece that comes out. You gotta use that other tool for that. Okay, I like this, this is cute. I could put one of these in my beaded purses when I give the giveaway. Okay. And it's a cute color. So my purse is over there. I'm gonna put it over there so I can put it in my purse. All right, now, one more thing in this one. Now, if anybody knows glue, my dad was a glue expert because he loved to fix and repair everything. And the you know the E6000 glue that Walmart sells? Well, now they have a step up. It's called B700. And I'm sure it's the same concept. Glue that stays forever. Now these have a little a poker lid on the end of the poker. I mean, on the end of the lid that you poke this with. But if you don't want to use that, just get a straight pin. Okay, now this is for more like repairing your jewelry and stuff. See? Anyway, it smells like E6000, but it's B7000. And you get four tubes of it. And so I'm always needing glue in different rooms. These are small enough you can even put in your purse, take to work with you or school or something in your bug out. Okay, you got four of them for 88 cents. That was fun. I'm gonna order some more of these so I can put them everywhere. Okay. Got two, three more things here. I want to try their beads because I love beads a lot. I love sewing beads on things. So I tried these beads just to get a feel. 170 natural blue turquoise loose spacer flat round disc stone beads. They were $1.99 for 170. So these will be fun to use to make jewelry or whatever put them in my bead. I have one big old bin with all my beads in it. And when the kids, the little girls love to make bracelets out of them. And so we have fun with those beads. All right. The next thing I got was a mini electric cordless engraver, precision engraver. Okay. I already put the batteries in it so that we can really test it. It says that it will, oh, here, it's right here. It's very little writing, and I have very old eyes. All right, I'm going to tell you what it says it can do. Engrave practically any surface, wood, metal, plastic, glass, leather, and more. Safe and easy to use. You'll love personalizing keepsakes and valuables. Protect your expensive your expensive stuff by engraving your details onto it, allowing 
law enforcement to recover and identify stolen property. Engraving is the only tried and trusted dur during theft. All right, and it tells you how to, it takes two AA batteries. So I did it. So I have a few things here that we're gonna test it on, okay? Because the real test is, the real proof is in the testing. Here's some wood, a little wood chair. Now you don't push this and it just stays on. You have to keep pushing it. That's for safety features. Here you can hear it. It's quiet. Okay, now I'm gonna be an engraver. I can start my own business. It worked perfect. Don't ask me why I put Craig's name, but look, it really did it on the wood. All right, now I have these scissors. I don't want anybody stealing my scissors. So I'm gonna put my name on them. See how it does on metal. You just says, just hold it like a pen. It's really fun to do. You gotta get one. All right, now let's see. Oh, look, I, I just wrote my nickname, Angie, because, you know. Now plastic, here's this I bought. <sighs> Feels so good. Okay, so I don't want anybody stealing this from me and using their snotty nose in my thing. So, let's see if, if it does plastic. You kind of have to hold it straight up. I think better than down. Okay, oh yeah, it really cut into that plastic. Oh, I would highly recommend this. Okay. Here's rubber. Let's, I'm going to write on this master bedroom. Well, it does not do on rubber. That was good to know, right? Glass. They said glass. Let's write on this bottle. Surprisingly, it does good. Oh. I'm going to see if it rubs off. Nope, it's there forever. All right. I have a keychain here. This Now that I'm a professional, because I've done four things, I'm going to do this for Jamie. I bought him this keychain from Timu. It says... If I had my life to live all over again, I would find you sooner so I could love you longer. Now, don't buy this if you got married at 16 because, you know, you can't get it any sooner. No, many sooner. Oh, wait, I lied. Carolyn, my sister married. She met her husband when in sixth grade and they are married now. There's been married a lot over 50 years, so... It does happen. All right. But this is what I'm giving to Jamie. So on the back, I'm going to write, love, Angela. He doesn't call me anything, any nickname. Like my whole family calls me Angie, Ange, not him, Angela. Okay. Love. You got to be real steady. Okay. Now, I kind of went the spacing, because you really are printing. You see it? So I'm going to see if I can write it with permanent pen first, and then if it, so I can do it perfect, you know? Because you don't want to have it look unprofessional when I start my business. I got to see if this is the better way to do it when I hang my shingle up. I did have a real shingle when I sewed for people. I had a sign sewing and I put it in my front window 
and then people would come and have me hem pants, all that stuff. Okay, here we go. You need the light, good light, and you gotta hold it steady. I did it. I'm gonna need a little more practice before I can charge anybody. Can you see it? No. It works. This is, uh, for that price, oh, it doesn't have a safety. But for $1.79, I'm gonna buy these for everybody because they said this will help you with your theft. And no one, like my brother is a cop and he said, if your name is on it, then they can return it to you. And one time, I'll tell you a story. Jamie, if you don't like hunting stories, don't listen to it. But when you hunt an animal and you kill it, you got to have a tag and you hang it on the antlers. So Jamie always does that. He never poached it or anything. He's always law abiding. So then one day, when I, after I was married to him, the cop came to the house and knocked at the door. And I'm like, what does he want? Well, he had, he said, I want, can I talk to Jamie Burton? And I thought, what did my husband do? So they went out to his car and he opened his trunk and here he had antlers. And he said, uh, some kids, we picked him up for thieving, stealing or whatever. And they had these in your possession. Do you recognize these? And Jamie didn't even know they were missing. But because his name was on it, he got them back. All right, I have another story for you. Um, we had that trout ranch, and so we had paddle boats, canoes, and the oars, you know, what do you call those oars, for the canoes. So we took it up to a river. I, I used the engraving and put the name, our Burton Springs Trout Ranch, Jamie Burton, on everything. Because, you know, we wanted to make sure we didn't have any th theft going on. The life jackets, everything. Well, we took the canoe up to Cottonwood Lake because we were going to go canoeing. Well, Jamie didn't secure the oar very good in the upside down on the top of the car canoe. So, um, somebody found them on the road on the way up there. So, they went up to Cottonwood and it was a guy who knew Jamie, and he goes, hey, Jamie, I found your oar on the road. So putting your names on things can save it for you. We never would have got it back. You know, my so I've bought a sewing machine from used, and it had an engraving. Yep. It had engraving because um, the guy, whoever it belonged to first, you know, so you're supposed to engrave your appliances, your, and another time I took a big griddle, nice electric griddle. Everyone was supposed to bring him for this cook-off thing. And mine was brand new and it was beautiful. And then they washed them all and then they gave me the one back and it was not new. It was an old used one. If I had put my name on it, I would have got it, my mine back. So buy a couple of these, one for you, one for your husband, $1.79. And if you're a new member, use my code. You get 30% off and cheaper. $100 bundle. The bundle means that they give you like four different coupons. Like if you spend over $100, you get 50% off. If you spend $20, you get 10% off, $10 off. You know, it's like that. So four bundles for however much you spend, you get money off. All right, the last thing I bought is this heat tool. I didn't buy it. They gave it to me. All right. This heat heating tool, and I've always wanted one, was $7.29. I always, always wanted one because of different craft projects, house things that I've seen. And they said, you know, to get paint off, peel the paint off, and get your st stickers off and stuff. And I said, I want one, but I never could spring for it because, you know, I was buying shoes and dresses instead because you use them more, maybe. No, I don't. All right. Let me see. I have a plug-in right here on my office table here. 
Uh oh. Okay, there we go. Plug it in, turn it on, and it has a little has a little uh, foot. So when you're getting ready, it'll stand up. Okay, it doesn't. I don't think it has to heat up. Nozzle may be hot. You're not supposed to touch this. Children are not supposed to use it. Okay, I have a thing here that has a label that I can't get off. And they say if you heat the labels, they'll come off. We're gonna try it. All right, whoops. No more than three minutes, it said. I wonder how close you hold it. it. Smells hot. Okay. I don't know how long that was. I need like tweezers right here. I have tweezers to see if I can get the label off because it might be hot. I don't want to touch it. Oh. Yep. It's coming right off. With the glue, too. Look at that. It's peeling it right off. I can now remove labels without any chemicals. Let's read the um, directions, because we want to see if I'm doing it right. I should have read these first. All right. This appliance can be used by children aged from eight years and above. And persons with reduced physical, sensory, or mental cap 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 capabilities, capability, how come I can't say that word? Or lack of experience and knowledge if they have been given permission or instructions concerning use of the appliance in a safe way and understand the hazards involved. All right, it's not a toy. Do not let children use it without supervision. If the cord is damaged, repair it. Be careful when using the appliance in places where there could be combustible. Do not apply to the same place for a long time. Do not use on in the presence of an explosive atmosphere. Be aware that the heat may conduct to combustive, combustible combustible materials that are out of sight. Place the appliance on its stand after use and allow it to cool. Do not use outdoors, keep out of reach of children, and recommend to wear safety goggles. Oh, and I forgot when you use that engraver, you're supposed to, that's why I'm wearing my big ones, because these are like safety goggles. All right. Plug in the heat tool. Hold the product as shown in the picture. Do not touch the hot nozzle. Keep five to six centimeters distance between the heat tool and the item. How far is that, I wonder? This is only in inches. I, I just wish we would have started out like everyone else, using the right metric system instead of our own, trying to confuse everybody in the world. I don't know how far that is. Do not use more than three minutes continuously to prevent overheat. Do not use in the presence of explosive atmosphere. I already read all that. Okay, I read it all. Okay, I could throw it away. Now I have a little bit more to remove. Let's, all right, it's cold now. Let's see if it will remove without it. It, like it does, when you pick it off and the glue stays on there. But with this tool, they call it a hot air gun. <sighs> okay. All right. I can feel it heating, so I think it's red. Yep. Same thing, just comes right off without any glue residue. All right, 
So when you go shopping and buy a bunch of stuff that, you know, not food products, but decorative products have labels, then you just get this out and do them all at once. I wonder if this has a label on it. It's okay. You saw it. We did it. We tried everything. All right. Here, if you're brand new, you got to get the Timu app. I'm going to put the link down below and you got to use my code AAB87758. Take a picture of it. And try Timu. Order something little like this, $1.79. Try it. The glue, stuff, you know, order stuff their first time that you can actually use, not just fashion clothes and purses and crap, but order stuff that you need on your list, like uh, shoe glue and stuff. So, shoe glue. It's not shoe glue brand. Okay, so thanks, Timu for letting me do this. And thanks um, for everyone who watched. And I love Timu. And it's, everybody gets gifts more from me because I buy things on here for them because they have such fun stuff. And two weeks comes by fast. Look at your calendar for the next birthdays coming up in your family or who you're giving gifts to. And then go on the app and look at the Timu stuff. You'll find something. They have stuff that you never thought would have and unusual stuff. Alrighty, have a wonderful whatever.